Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Hello and welcome back to my RC channel. I'm Andy RC and today is kind of a rehash of a video that I made around about five years ago on how to fly quadcopters, drones, whatever you want to call them, line of sight. And due to the unique way that YouTube's algorithm seems to bin videos that have been around longer than seven days, I thought I would revisit it because I'm getting asked all of the time, how do you fly line of sight like that when there's a video out there already? There are going to be a couple of changes. The first one is that I mention it in the video, simulators are extremely important. And since then, we have got new simulators and simulator practice is key to nailing line of sight, especially if you haven't flown fixed wing before. And my setup is this one, so it's the Radiomaster TX16S. And what I do is I use one of these. Now, this is an FR Sky dongle, and it's basically got an RXSR inside. And what you do is you bind your transmitter to this, plug this into your computer, and you've got a wireless solution so that you can practice as much as you want, whether line of sight or FPV. Uh, I'll put a link in the video description as well as a pinned comment if uh, that's how you want to go. You don't have to go like that, obviously, you know, we've got USB now where you can plug it into the computer and that acts as a joystick. I think ELRS even has like a Bluetooth joystick option. Now, since I made the last video five years ago, a countless number of simulators have been released. But if you're looking for a free one that has a line of sight option, then I recommend the Curry Kitten simulator. I actually had a session on Discord with Curry Kitten because I'm one of the few pilots who can actually fly line of sight and he said, look, you know, have I got the physics right here? And it's pretty good. So uh, yeah, that's one I would recommend. Uh, of course, Velocity the drone and lift off. I think they also have line of sight options as well. Very important to practice on a simulator. Anyways, let's get on to the process of learning to fly line of sight and also line of sight acro like a pro. So let's get an arm it. Now I wouldn't really recommend this model for complete beginners. I always say start off with something that's not going to do much harm, like a very cheap, sort of like a Hubson even, like that's got brushed motors, something like that. And then once you're comfortable with something like that, then you can move on to something bigger if you want to progress. But a lot of these toy grade quadcopters such as the Hubson, they are stuck in self-level mode, also known as angle mode, which means when you put the stick in, it will level itself out. Now I get a lot of questions about acro and that is basically where the quadcopter doesn't self-level. So I can put it in acro mode here now. And if I put some stick in, you see it stays going that way. It never levels itself. And of course the advantage of that is you can do flips and tricks and stuff. But people find it very difficult to do acro and it is quite tricky, especially with multi-rotors. I think it's easier to do with planes. So what I suggest that people do when learning, and I always suggest that people start off line of sight because I think that's important. There are a lot of people out there that do just fly FPV and don't fly line of sight. And that's fine, I guess if you get into trouble you can always just disarm so make sure that you set up a arming switch but I always think that you should learn line of sight line of sight came first I flew years for line of sight and to start a flying line of sight what I recommend is always have the quadcopter with its back facing you like this and that means that when flying line of sight the controls are always in the right direction now I would show you my transmitter, but I fly mode one. 
and the majority of models are sold mode 2 so if you are looking at learning I would always suggest picking mode 2 because everything comes in mode 2 these days but yeah the difficult part is once you've mastered hovering in angle mode or self level mode the tricky part is starting to reverse it because when you turn towards you everything is backwards then your roll is backwards your pitch it's like you're flying the aircraft backwards and people ask me well how do you get around that and what I always do is I always try and imagine myself at the back of the quadcopter okay so I'm standing at the back of it now all the controls are fine but if I turn that way I just imagine myself now standing here and that way I don't have to convert everything so I'm basically moving my position I'm sure everyone has different ways of doing it another good thing as well is when you're doing your turns is never face yourself fully like that you can face yourself at an angle so you can always kind of guess where you could be standing looking at the back of it because you're not fully forward and then once you've completely mastered that then facing towards you it should come naturally now a word on the sponsor of this video. You might have noticed that I've not been uploading as many videos on the channel recently and one of the reasons is I signed up to Skillshare. Because let's face it, the last couple of years have left many of us in need of a rethink. And there's a lot of awesome projects I've been working on in the background that I can't wait to show you. But they wouldn't have been possible without Skillshare. There's a huge library covering all sorts of of subjects but my favorite course is the fusion 360 complete course by Michael Freeman which teaches you everything that you need to know about making your own 3d printable components Skillshare is ad free and only costs $10 a month the first 1,000 people to click the link in the video description will receive a 30-day free trial of Skillshare premium thanks to Skillshare for also sponsoring this video and then a lot of people ask me about acro how do you transition to acro well I did it using horizon mode and that's something that's great about clean flight beta flight this one's actually running clean flight is I've set up horizon mode here and what that does is still gives you your self level but then when you get to the edge of the stick it relaxes the self level and allows you to do flips you have to be careful in this mode though because if you are say moving forward fast and all of a sudden you put full forward in it'll do a flip when you didn't want it to so be very careful doing that but I flew probably for about a month in horizon mode another problem with horizon mode as well is it will always self level eventually so if you go and do a half sort of roll can you see there it leveled itself and once you start seeing stuff like that that's when it's time to go full acro you're ready and then you can really start playing about another important role is the simulator as well get velocity drone it's not perfect but it does have a line of sight option where you can practice this all day and never break anything you can get one of these i6x transmitters and get one of those 22 in one dongles or you can get the i6s which has a built-in usb option and then you can plug that directly into the, your computer it acts as a usb device and you can make all the crashes you want and that's pretty much how I've tried most of these maneuvers that I do in fact this particular model the Raggy 200H it's in Velocidrome the last time I looked of course having loads of practice is important as well and patience is not something that you can learn overnight you usually find the younger you are the quicker you pick it up 
but that is my process everyone's different though and everyone will tell you different this is just how I learned to fly acro I've been flying for years so acro has always existed in some form for me but simulators I think are a great thing and also having the knowledge as well this model's quite good because it's bulletproof this battery seems nice too plenty of punch with the battery no complaints Yeah, I'd be interested to hear anyone else who has figured out acro and flying and stuff, line of sight. If they did anything different, let me know in the comments. I'm always interested to hear because there's no right answer really. I just wanted to share my experience. If you have nice weather, that helps too. <laughs> Something I don't have. can hear the beeper going off here so the battery's probably going to run out soon something that doesn't happen on a simulator I find acro much easier to do FPV than line of sight because there's no orientation involved and I think that's why a lot of people just go straight to FPV but I like knowing that I can lift the goggles up quickly and probably fly the plane like that if I lose my video or something so one of the things I want to talk about as well is when doing acro line of sight and this is just something that helped me is go slow with your maneuvers so if you're wanting to do a roll don't just put loads of stick in because it's difficult to find level when doing line of sight so if I'm doing a flip I'll go slow at first and get a feeling of when I need to stop on the stick same with a roll so I do a nice slow roll and then I can let go of the stick rather than using muscle memory and sort of putting the stick in and guessing where level's going to be. Much like you do when you're doing FPV because it's easier to correct when doing FPV because you're on board the thing. But when you're not on board doing line of sight, I find slow maneuvers much more easier to recover from. You see there I did sort of like a half backflip but didn't level out quickly because it's it's just sort of like a flip of your finger but if you do it nice and slow like that then it looks much nicer and then you can build up speed after that I always think line of sight these things look really majestic when doing flips and rolls and stuff something I've been trying to do is mimic some of the maneuvers I do FPV so like power loops you never really think to do a power loop line of sight because you just usually do a flip like that but it is possible to do some of these FPV maneuvers like a, a loop I'm still not great at them or like your two point back flips again these are things that look great in FPV because you can reference the horizon but you can't really well you can do them line of sight but you don't think about doing them line of sight so that's something that I've been doing I really like these power loops and you can sort of do the sideways knife edge as well I like your two-point rolls I really think people are missing out if they don't persevere with line of sight stuff and just do FPV plus I do think if ever a test came in that was mandatory for us to fly these things I think they would expect you to do the test line of sight certainly I think a BMFA test would be done line of sight to show that you've got full control of it but that's just my opinion anyway anyways let's come in for a landing 
I hope some of that information was useful for you if you are looking at going from angle mode, learning to fly into Horizon and Acro. That worked for me. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Please continue to subscribe. Cheers.